the uh, education uh, team uh, consists of uh, uh, um, uh, Dr. Angela Mead, who is the director of education and the graduate uh, tutor for the uh, taught programs. And uh, we have two programs, uh, the MSc for clinical trials that you uh, get to hear about uh, uh, in this session, and also MSc for statistics for clinical trials that is uh, led by uh, Dr. Hakim Muley Denby and Dr. Andy Embleton. Desk. So what is the aim of this uh, webinar? It's to introduce the postgraduate taught programs in clinical trials, but also give you an introduction to the Institute's, uh, Institute of Clinical Trials and Methodology, hopefully motivate you to study clinical trials and give you an overview of how the uh, uh, program is structured at UCL and then uh, leave some time for you to answer any questions you may have. So the Institute of Clinical Trials and Methodology, as you can see it uh, here, it's uh, uh, based uh, in Holborn. It's a center of excellence for clinical trials, meta-analysis, epidemiological studies, and methodology research. It's really encompassing not only uh, uh, the running of the clinical trials, but also how we design and how we can improve designing uh, clinical trials, how we can synthesize evidence and really uh, make uh, uh, impacts on health uh, in uh, many patients and populations, not just in the UK, but also across the world. And we run trials in many disease areas, such as uh, cancer, infections, doing uh, work in primary care, neuroscience, cognitive health, and women's health. And what we have, we have expertise from early to late phase clinical trials, uh, and also looking at stratified medicine and novel medicines, which you will all get to hear uh, during the course of the year or two years, depending on the mode of study. So the Institute of Clinical Trials and Methodology is comprised of four clinical trials units, the Medical Research Council Clinical Trials Unit at UCL, the Cancer, Clinical, uh, Cancer Research UK and UCL Cancer Trial Centre, which is based on Tottenham Court Road, the Comprehensive Clinical Trials Unit at UCL, which is also based uh, together with uh, as, uh, um, uh, at uh, Holborn, and the Prime and Clinical Trials Unit, which is based at the Royal Free. Uh, this, uh, 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 we can find out more information about uh, our institute uh, and uh, using this link below. But uh, as uh, I uh, said in the previous uh, slide, our major goal is to improve health for all. Uh, and uh, that spans quite early on and through the life course uh, of the uh, individuals. So what is our global impact of our institute research? So we pose internationally important questions and we do that not by uh, running trials only in the UK, but really across the globe to answer the locally and regionally relevant questions. And these are relevant to the needs of the patients, policymakers and health workers. And uh, our trials and the results for these trials have informed various guidelines, uh, not only in the UK, uh, but around the world, and improved the treatment uh, for many diseases over the course of the many decades that we've been running those trials. So what is the motivation for you to study clinical trials? Uh, as probably right now, more than ever, you would understand the importance of clinical trials, how these are run, how quickly uh, we can answer questions, uh, especially uh, relevant and important uh, uh, role they played in the pandemic. So they're essential to help us discover whether new healthcare interventions improve outcomes for patients and the public. And we'll look at preventions, diagnosis and treatment of conditions, and also testing different uh, drugs, but also other interventions such as behavior intervention, uh, different uh, medical procedures or medical devices. And clinical trials is really an expanding field um, and offers many career opportunities. And it's rewarding work for us as individuals, but also uh, for society. 
and why uh, are we uh, asking you to come and study with us and uh, uh, I guess motivating you uh, to study clinical trials at UCL is that we really have a large portfolio of trials and disease areas that we focus on and as you can see uh, uh, some of the results that are either published in the Lancet, uh, New England Journal of Medicine and many other uh, uh, high impact journals and relevant uh, uh, journals for the study area and they get picked up by uh, news uh, and uh, also uh, uh, influencing work that uh, goes on in other uh, uh, continents as you can see by the Odyssey trials uh, on HIV and uh, also looking at some of the uh, new interventions and new trials that uh, uh, we can design as in the octopus. But I guess the main uh, uh, aim is that to really for you to learn about the gold standards. Randomized control trials are gold standard at evaluating healthcare interventions and uh, uh, give us an evidence whether a treatment or a particular interventions uh, should be implemented, be it on the NHS or any other uh, health system more globally. So this is the overview of the program. And the program is an online uh, learning program, uh, which means that uh, uh, everything is delivered and administered using the internet. And uh, for some of you who are already working, this provides a, a good opportunity to combine work and study uh, from the place where you are, wherever you are around the world. So everything is done online, uh, sharing of resources, engagement and discussions and assessments. And what we do, we break it down into two components, the asynchronous and synchronous learning. And what we mean by that, the asynchronous is that you have resources and activities that are accessed by you uh, on individual basis and usually provided to you ahead of the session, but you can revisit those uh, for duration of the uh, course or uh, the other component, which is synchronous, where uh, we have live sessions where both uh, uh, the students and the lecturers interact in real uh, uh, time. And in a way, we try and create uh, a virtual classroom uh, uh, environment for you to uh, gain the knowledge, but also for us to assess your learning and uh, help you progress through the course. So what are the benefits of online learning? That it's convenient, flexible, you have increased interactions and uh, uh, over the uh, uh, last few years that we have been running this program online, we actually see that uh, a lot of students are participating in the discussions and sometimes even more so than when we had the programs face to face. Uh, we have enhanced learning and uh, uh, I guess opportunity to work in groups with various members of uh, uh, the uh, uh, programs and also help you to develop technical skills uh, to help you with presentation skills and uh, uh, other ways that uh, to improve your uh, uh, transferable skills that you will gain through the masters. But what are the goals of our program is to train the next generation of clinical trialists and hopefully share our experience and enthusiasm uh, because as you uh, would uh, get uh, to know each of us, we have spent many years and uh, in some cases uh, a number of decades working in the clinical trials or working at the same institute. Uh, teach you what we would like uh, new staff to know about clinical trials and in a way teach you what to do when working in clinical trials. Why do we do certain things and uh, uh, really being clear on why we do the clinical trial and how best we can uh, do this and looking at the uh, alternative approaches that we have to implement as we uh, uh, run trials, especially those that uh, go on for many, many years and uh, especially across many sites or even many continents. We share the best ways to teach and share the knowledge uh, to encourage you to think like a clinical trialist. And I guess what is really, really important uh, for a clinical trialist is to solve problems, be efficient, adapt to change and communicate effectively. So what does our program in clinical trials offer for you? 
if you're starting out in clinical trials, it's an excellent grounding as you prepare for a career in clinical trials. If you're already working in the field, it gives you an opportunity to enhance and develop your knowledge and understanding. And if you're wondering about a further study, it is a stepping stone towards a PhD. What are the benefits of studying with us? Well, the teaching is delivered by staff working directly on clinical trials, meta-analysis and epidemiological studies at the Institute. So you really get the first-hand experience uh, from those that have been doing these for uh, uh, a number of years or, as I mentioned, the decades. The course content is guided by colleagues in academia, pharma and the NHS. And we have a lot of activity-based learning, experiential learning and giving you real-life trial examples. The assessments are also linked to real world activities, so it really prepares you for a career in the future. We invite guest lecturers so they can share their expertise and experience. So what are the entry sorry, uh, what are the entry requirements for the course? So normally normally a minimum of uh, a two one UK bachelor's degree in a healthcare or life science subject. And this includes pharmacists, uh, assists, uh, clinicians are required to have a degree, for example, MBBS. The overseas qualifications must be of an equivalent standard and exceptions are possible for applicants who have prior uh, relevant work experience. If your education has not been conducted in the English language, you will be expected to demonstrate evidence of your ability. And the English language uh, requirement for this program is good. So what are the study options? So we have a modular flexible program and can be completed over one to five years. And this may be more suited for those that are working who would like to uh, a study uh, and learn about clinical trials, but they would like to do it in their own pace uh, over the uh, uh, course of a few years. We have a PG certificate, 60 taught credits, a, a PG diploma, 120 taught credits, and an MSc, where we have 120 taught credits plus a 60 credit research project. So both the postgraduate certificate and postgraduate uh, 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 diploma will uh, provide some more information in the next few slides. So the module selection is that uh, we have a full-time option uh, where uh, uh, the students complete all the modules in one academic year. And we have live online classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So for all the modules across the year, uh, the teaching is either on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And it is uh, uh, more or less about uh, at the same time that the live sessions take place. So the students can plan their uh, schedules, their uh, work commitments or uh, personal commitments accordingly. If you're studying part time, you'll complete all modules over time and uh, you will uh, have uh, online classes either on Tuesday or Thursday. For the postgraduate certificate students, we can discuss your module preferences uh, separately. So we wanted to give you an uh, idea of what the teaching uh, in 2022-23, uh, the current year, and how it's uh, organized. So it gives you an idea of uh, how uh, the organization is for next year. So the modules are organized into weeks of study and for the asynchronous material, so this is the material that the students learn in their own time, the resources are posted to Moodle, which is the UCL platform, one week in advance, and the module leads guide you and what to expect you in each module, but usually we would ask you to go through the asynchronous materials and be prepared for the synchronous uh, uh, session the following week. The synchronous uh, or the live sessions uh, for approximately two to three hours and they're again depending on the module on Tuesdays or Thursdays uh, usually take place between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. UK time so that uh, wherever you're in the world you can plan this accordingly. There is a Zoom link on Moodle and uh, uh, you can uh, you will always have this uh, available uh, and uh, attendance will be uh, monitored so that to make sure that you get the best out of the course. So this is the plan of what we have uh, uh, in uh, this year, just to give you an uh, 
I, I guess, a feel of how the course is structured. In term one, uh, there's the introduction to clinical trials and statistical analysis. This is a double credit or 30 credit module. And the teaching is on Tuesdays from beginning uh, till the end of uh, term one. In term two, uh, you have further trials design and outcomes, which is a 15 credit module that runs uh, uh, from January to February. The applying clinical trials design principles in practice uh, follows on uh, from uh, uh, the uh, 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 January to February module and it's delivered from late in February to March and it's also a 15 credit module with live teaching sessions on Tuesdays. So the Thursday modules in term one, we have uh, uh, protecting patients and introduction to patient public involvement, which is a 15 credit module, which runs the first part of term one, which is then followed by trial setup and conduct from an idea to reality, also a 15 credit module, and it runs from November till December. In term two, we have managing open trials, preparing for analysis and disseminating trial results, which is in the first part of term two, and followed by patient and data pathways throughout clinical trial, also a 15 credit module, uh, which runs from February to March. And uh, uh, you will be able to find uh, examples of uh, and uh, descriptions of each of those modules on the UCL catalog. So the taught module assessments, each module will have two assessments and uh, uh, in a way what we try and do, we uh, test you through a broad range of different styles, whether it's exams, uh, essays, coursework, and in a way we try and cater for different learning styles. We want you to develop lots of skills to prepare you for a career or even further studies uh, in clinical trials. So the formative assessment, which is not assessed, gives you an opportunity for you and the module leads to assess your progress and understanding before the summative assessment. But the summative assessment is the assessed part of the work, which counts for 100% of the mark for each module, and the pass mark is 50. So here, we'll just uh, I'm not going to go into all of the details of uh, uh, the different assessment, just to give you uh, uh, an idea for uh, an example uh, for ICTM 0007. Uh, there are two parts. It's a double uh, uh, module, so 30 credit. Uh, so there are two parts to this module with short answer uh, uh, questions uh, in the exam. Uh, and for ICTM uh, zero, zero, 001, uh, it's uh, also an, uh, uh, short answer questions looking at clinical trial case studies uh, for ICTM 002, preparing a clinical trial protocol, uh, ICTM 003, a different critique of different uh, study designs and analysis to so give you really a critical thinking skills. For ICTM 004, a presentation on the challenges of conducting uh, clinical trials in different settings and uh, populations. For ICTM 005, uh, looking at different uh, clinical trial scenarios and uh, uh, clinical trial conduct. And the uh, last module, uh, ICTM 0006, on short answer questions uh, and related to different uh, uh, trial scenarios in different settings. So as you can see, you have a, a mixture of presentations, critical thinking, uh, a writing, uh, a short answer questions. But each of these, for each of these, you will have a formative assessment and preparing you for what we're expecting from the summative. So we support you through the program uh, very well in that regard. The project module is mandatory for the MSc award and it's one third of the overall mark for the MSc. So it counts for 60 credits. This is a significant piece of work uh, which has three components. It has the project proposal of 2000 words accounting for 20% of uh, uh, the module, an oral presentation accounting for 10%, and a report structured in the style of a journal paper, which is 6,000 words and accounts for 70% of the mark. As you can see, we really try and prepare you uh, to be a scientist and a clinical trialist who will be able to write up the results of clinical trials that you run, you design, you contribute uh, or analyze uh, throughout your career. 
The overall pass mark for this module is 50% and it uh, runs in uh, term three uh, when we have no modules running, so from April to uh, August in the year. So the independent research projects really gives you an opportunity to have an original independent piece of work and here there are, as you can see, the examples of what uh, you may be uh, uh, doing, uh, either primary research and looking at literature review and identifying, uh, I guess, the need for uh, trials, a secondary data analysis, can develop a piece of training to help improve clinical trial design, conduct analysis or reporting, an audit, clinical study of existing clinical trial methodology or an action plan. So uh, we discuss these with you and we present uh, a, a number of uh, options of projects for uh, you to uh, look at and also welcome uh, any ideas that you may have as long as we have suitable supervisors who can supervise uh, the project in uh, that particular area. So these are some uh, examples of uh, uh, projects to date, but there are many others that our students have done over the course of the uh, years that the program has been running. And what we do, we prepare you for the future with experiential learning and we present activities that will mimic real world discussions and assessments, as you can see, writing up a paper to the real world outputs. We also try and uh, uh, provide you guidance uh, regarding your future career and uh, we have uh, uh, career events uh, that are either in the autumn or the spring term and uh, uh, both in, uh, I guess, with the, an academic uh, viewpoint, but also uh, roles in the pharmaceutical industry. UCL also offers uh, UCL careers and faculty events uh, where you will be able to uh, get more information, and more support about your future step. And where do our fledged trialists go? They have excellent employability. Sometimes uh, they apply for new jobs, whether it's in pharmaceutical industry, contract research organizations, NHS or academia, and uh, a number of uh, our past students have had uh, uh, positions, uh, new positions at Sanofi, Eli Lilly, Equia, CAUK, and also stayed with us uh, at, or uh, uh, I guess obtained a position at our institute. Some of our students go back to their previous role, enriched with new knowledge and skills, and some have promotions based on the MSc, and some students go on to further study. So what is our story so far? We have had over 160 students so far, and it's a truly global community with more than 20 countries uh, being represented. And we have diversity of uh, different uh, uh, age, different backgrounds, uh, 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 prior education, prior experience from, uh, experience from different uh, uh, local, regional, uh, uh, I guess, uh, different continents that all come together uh, during the online learning that we provide. So this is the core MSc Clinical Trials team. Uh, I'm the program director, I'm a principal research fellow, uh, been working at UCL for the past 20 years, uh, uh, working on uh, screening uh, trials and uh, more recently uh, adjuvant trials. Uh, Al Modina is a deputy program director and uh, lecturer in teaching and really uh, a, a huge support uh, to uh, all the students uh, uh, across the years. The module leads will be the first point of contact for any questions relating to the modules that uh, you may be uh, taking, um, uh, that uh, the modules that you'll be taking. And we also have personal tutors, so each student is assigned a personal tutor who will advise on academic progress, but also look at your general well-being and professional development and be able to advise you. And as I mentioned, Dr. Angela Mead is uh, the Director of Education and also on hand to answer any uh, uh, questions and support you through the programme. So at this point in time, I'll stop for any questions that you may have. You can put these in the chat and I think there's an option also to unmute yourself. I 
just uh, also uh, leave you our email addresses so you're very welcome to contact us at any point for further information on the program. So, Almo, I cannot see if there are any questions. Maybe I can stop sharing. We don't have questions so far. Okay. So, before we close the session, Almo, I don't know whether you would like to give an example of a research project or any aspect of the course that may be helpful to a potential candidate. I could say that um, some our students are working uh, alongside the studies. Uh, from different countries and they are, they are currently joining our live sessions and all the online content that we have available for them and and what we can hear from them is that the course has been really useful that they are learning a lot and even if uh, if it's, it's it's hard to you know work at the same time as, as doing your studies it's is manageable. Uh, you can be full time or you can be part time. But they are very pleased with the content and and with the overall online learning experience. They couldn't think that it was going to be um, that successful. So that's uh, a positive um, point and comment to to take on board. Great, thank you, Alma. So I uh, can't see any questions in the chat. Uh, if there are no questions, I think we'll close this session. Thank you so much for uh, joining and we look forward to hearing from you.